And welcome everybody, oh gosh, I didn't know you were there guy, welcome everybody to Tomb of the Sun, a Minecraft CTM map for version 1.8, I'm playing 1.8.9, it was created by Tigel, Tigel, Ty Tile, and Th Thrignus, Th Th yeah, it's the by those guys. And uh, like I said, it's for uh, version 1.8, which I am super excited about because that means it's going to be fun, uh, fast-paced gameplay, maybe. We'll see. Compared to the to the utter trash that Minecraft is now in post 1.9. I got so frustrated on this other map that I'm playing. Just, I just, uh, yeah. I almost can't play these maps anymore because I just can't, can't really uh, get on board with the whole... Whole changes that were made but um anyways we're also gonna be doing this series rules the matter style which means that you the viewers get to suggest rules for me to follow i'll uh do one rule per episode some of them might be permanent rules so once they're enacted that means they will last for the entirety of the series others might just be one-off uh rules for the episode so be sure to suggest any rules that you might have in the comments I've heard that the map is somewhat challenging, um, definitely has that kind of more old school style, this feels very Vex-like, especially that structure over there, definitely looks like something Vex can make, um, let's go ahead and check this guy out, we got some bread, and we got some pants, uh, rules, let's just go ahead and break the chest, it'll be faster. And let's see what the rules are. Uh, Victory Monument wool can only come from fleecy boxes. Don't leave the map boundaries. No inner chests. No trading. Um, we're on hard mode right now. And we can craft beds and survive in any way you can. So basic, basic rules. Um, there's going to be no rule for this episode because nobody has suggested any rules for me. Uh, but try to get, try to get creative there. We've done some pretty pretty funny and challenging stuff in the past. We have three pieces of wood. Let's go ahead and use it to make some basic gear. Now the bad thing about being in 1.8 is that swimming is going to be very, very slow. Gosh, it's kind of hard to believe that it was ever once this, <laughs> this slow. I mean, it's a little ridiculous. So that is one thing that I do enjoy about... Well, I guess it's 1.13 and beyond, but uh, yeah, just I was playing this map Galaroth, which should be up on my channel by now, which is another very challenging hardcore map, resource deprived map, and just the very first mob that I encountered. It's also in UHC mode, so no health regen. Just, just the very first mob. The hitboxes are so just weird. And it just made me kind of, like, I just got so angry because they, they ruined a game that was once, in my opinion, pretty, uh, pretty dang close to, to being just absolutely perfect. AI and 1.7 was fantastic. Um, anyways, I'm going to stop talking about that just because I'm going to get upset again. And... What else? Okay, yeah, we're good to go. We are good to go. I see a skull, which is kind of scary. I hear a zombie underneath me, which tells me that this is probably going to be a trap. We got ourselves a dead bush. There might actually be something down there, so we should probably check it out, I think. Oh, we can spam click again, you guys. We can definitely do the spam clicky click. Uh, Nope, doesn't look like there's anything down here. As far as I can tell. Let's go ahead and a hop back up. Just like a so. And let's see what's in this little structure here. An anvil. Right off the bat, huh? And some fish. And a stone sword. And a furnace. I guess we're going to want to cook that up. Seems odd to give an anvil this early. They can be quite, quite powerful, but we will take it. And we have some kind of thing over there. Uh, yeah, 
let's go to wait for the fish to cook. I don't know where this zombie is. Okay, well that's going to have to do it for now. Let's go ahead and take the furnace as well. And check uh, this place out. Oh, and that, that right there kind of reminds me of Pantheon and Titan's Revolt, since they both have... Ooh. Ooh. We got ourselves an Enderman. Nope, don't come over here, guy. But thank you. And let's go ahead and do something like that. Oh, gosh. Oh, and this is when Silverfish, you, you, you know, it's not just an immediate break with the Silverfish blocks, which I kind of like. Because you can check these to tell if they're Silverfish. Like, Silverfish, 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 all Silverfish. Are they really all Silverfish? It certainly seems like it. Um, but now it's just like instantaneous. Which, again, there's there's good things and bad things about that. Um, is any of this real wood? No, just, just the slabs. Because they gave us wood, but... Um, only enough to make a pick and a sword. And the coal isn't going to provide much. Do the dead bushes drop sticks in this version? I can't remember if that was something new that was added or what. But I guess we got some more wood here. Uh, uh, nope, I have been disappointed once again. That's strike two, Mr. Map Creator guys. I assume you're misters. It's gonna be the same thing. Yes. Yes, indeed. Hey, at least we killed some mobs in the process. We uh, sticks, sticks. No sticks. It's starting to get nighttime. Let's go ahead and uh, make some more torches since we have the wood for it. All right, and eat some food. Yummy, yummy food. And let's try to just run right past all of our mob friends there and light it up. And look for the goodies. Hit, hit the zombie guy? You want to hit the zombie? Nope, nope. Zombie's going to hit me, though. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, I forget how kind of... I don't know. I found the mob AI much better in 1.7 compared to 1.8. But... Um, I And definitely compared to newer versions. And just overall harder because of that. Okay, I don't know what that just accomplished, but sure, why not? I will take the string. Thank you very much. I guess we're trapped in here now. Is that what it accomplished? Boom! Oh, that was amazing. That was amazing. I am so, so very good at this game. Can I get an applause, please? Uh, how are we doing? Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing just fine. Just fine. Oh, it's gonna be weird to get back into the whole spam clicking. Boom! Whee! Uh, let's light things up. And just because of, uh, I'm so used to playing like 1.13 and stuff now, I tend to move a lot slower in map, so it's gonna take some time, I think, to get used to, to you know, moving fast again. I think these are mostly well lit. Free blocks. Free blocks. That'd be a potential zombie grinder, though. Let's keep moving. Um. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Uh, what's in the thingy? Nothing there. I have heard that it's a bit of, like, spawner spam. Which we are kind of sort of seeing. A little bit. Is there anything in these? Oh, some arrows. And we do have enough string to make a bow now. 
actually a decent amount of arrows. We should probably go ahead and take these guys out, I think. That works. That works. Oh, I thought that spider was carrying a bone for a second. Oh, we got we got some dense dense natural spawns. No, no. There we go. Oh, they don't fight they don't fight each other in this in this version. That's uh that's not good. Oh gosh. Okay, run away, run away, run away. Eat the foods. I still got some fish. Yummy yummy fish. Ha! So, shoot and a miss. Shoot and a miss. Kill the spider. Light it up. Light up all the things. And let's collect all of our blocks and arrows. And we're gonna make a bow. Just cause I feel like it. Uh crafting bench. Coming right up. Alright, well we are getting a little low on food. I'd love to make an axe as well, although we don't really have I guess make a wooden axe, but that's not really worth it, I don't think. Um alright. Oh. Hello there, Mr. Creeper. It's all very good to see you again. We got a chest over here. Oh, go in the lava. Go in the lava. No, you're supposed to go in the lava. Thank you. Thank you. Torches! Thank you for the torches. Okay, that skelly has not noticed me yet, so let's just... Let's just run, shall we? That's one of the things I love about these earlier versions, is just being able to run and jump and whatnot without too many problems. I do not trust this room whatsoever. As I shouldn't. Um... Oh, I was like, what are those things down there? But I think... I think that might be a baby spider, actually. Oh, bread. Bread. Thank you for the bread. I do appreciates it. Uh, light it up. And... They cannot get to us. Let's keep going. Let's keep on running along. And enjoying our time. In fabulous Minecraft 1.8. Oh, it's really opening up. Um, interesting. We have gas, there's sand. I'm imagining that that's the white wool right there. I'm trying to figure out where we go after that. Uh, huh. Okay, well, we got stuff over here, so let's check it out. Wee! Uh, lame gamer kit, I think is what it said. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. I will take all the things. Um, well, you could prove helpful, or you could prove problematic. A little bit of both, a little bit of both. Oh, yes, yes. Spam, spam the clickies. Clicky, clicky the spam. I'm so excited, I cannot even talk straight. Boy, there are a lot of you guys, though. That is for certain. Give me your yellow hat. It'll look fantastic on my, on my beautiful, beautiful head. Okay, let's light that up. Since otherwise, they're going to keep, keep spawning. Ooh, there's Blaze, too. All right, uh, let's switch to the bread for now. Hi, Mr. Blazy Poo. Let's take him out. Um, I want to get this Enderman over here at all possible. Come here, guy. Oh, I kind of wish this was 1.7, just because 1.8 AI is kind of kind of broken. And they, they haven't fixed it since then, so <laughs> it's just... Do Endermen not aggro? In 1.8? That's almost what it seems like. Uh, Mr. Enderman? What if I try to shoot you? He's upset, but he's not coming after me now. Uh, 
Oh, there's a chest way up there. At this point, I'm thinking that we have to, like, go up. Which is just absolutely insane, if that's the case. But I think... Oh my gosh, okay. I think the plan is to, um... Rush the wool box. And then escape and go over to this pillar, grab the chest. And we'll work our way from there. Ooh, yes, things are just going to get worse and worse and worse. Uh, okay, yep. Let's go ahead and do it then, shall we? I think that sounds like a fantabulous. Well, that's not at all what I was expecting. But, okay. Oh, do you have some punch on that guy? Uh... Alright, that's... Hey, we got the white wool. Seems kind of hard to not get the white wool. With the sun... I kind of want to go back up there just for that, that other chest that we saw. Intersection 1. Yes, please. Uh, in fact, we might do that after we let all those mobs despawn just to make things easier. Let's go ahead and check out Intersection 1 while we can. We got a skelly dude. Gosh, this has such an amazing old school feel to it. Uh, the hollow chambers, froggy keep, and sandy spires. Oh, they're being pretty generous on the loot, I must say. Uh, let's put up a lot of this junk. We got some cobblestone now. Flint and steel. I'm not sure what we would need that for. And there's uh, chests over here. Uh, Froggy Keep. Okay, it's just a book. I'm guessing that those are... It's gonna be books then. I don't think the mobs down below can get to us. Um... Huh. I feel like I'm getting lagged, but... Maybe I'm just imagining things. I would like to get a look down below, if at all possible. Oh my gosh. Ouch. Alright, light, camera, action. Um... Uh, there could be something hidden in there, but... Not entirely sure. I will take all of your things, please. Uh, we do have the slow health regen. In this version of the game. Oh, that was, oh gosh, that was weird. I'm gonna say no, but there's nothing... Nothing here. In that case, let's head back, because I would like to go and retrieve that chest from the previous area, although it's going to be quite quite the uh, adventure to get up there. But we'll, uh, we'll do it anyways. Alright, I can hear, I can hear the zombies, which means we're, we're getting close. Maybe. Oops. Oh, that's a... That's a bad guy spawner. We don't want that. And... Let's head up. And pray that no... Creepers are up here. What did I say? What did I say? He has already forgotten about us, though. Ooh, some better armor. I totally forgot to put on the other armor. Um, uh, okay, so there's apparently multiple chests. And that's where we came in. Uh, I kind of just want you to go ahead and explode there, guy, but... Okay. I can't make up my mind, so we're just gonna kill you. Alright, so that is, that is nothing. The one that I wanted to get was actually that one over there. 
Um, the easiest way to get over there is going to be to to do what exactly? <laughs> I don't know. Oops. Oh, don't see me, Mr. Skeleton. Don't see me. I think the other creeper sees me, though, which is a fine by me. Oh, gosh. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not fine by me. I don't remember if they can hit through corners in this version of the map. Doesn't seem like it. That did not work out the way that I wanted it to. That's okay. We're still alive. We're still alive, and that's what matters. Um. Oh gosh, I missed that jump too. Man, I am so out of practice. I am so out of practice, you guys. Just because one one point thirteen doesn't really allow me to play the game the way that I used to. Okay, you say you say goodbye, Mr. Skeleton. It's kind of a little, it's a little scary up here. Hopefully there's nothing above my head. Uh, let's just dig over there for right now, just because that's going to be the easiest, rather than going up and down, up and down. Oh, there's another chest. Well, there's just stuff hidden all over the place. The skeletons almost seem like passive until you attack them. Uh, sa safety shoes, I think is what it says. With some feather falling. Let's go ahead and slap those guys on. Let us see what the other chest is all about. And jump. Let's say Lamus Gamer. I think. This is what it said. We got ourselves an iron sword, a bow, some instant health too. Uh yes, please. Don't mind if I do. And <clears throat> excuse me. Go ahead and do something like that. Oops. Do each of the fires represent a chest? I don't see anything over there. Nothing over there. I'm kind of curious about this one here, though. because it looks like it kind of goes into the wall. Nope, nothing there. Okay, well, we did get quite a few good things there, though. Uh, let's do something like that. And... Yeah, I think that's it. I do kind of want to go up outside, but we'll hold off on that for now. Let's just go ahead and jump back down. We, uh... Oh, what is that? The little X marks the spot. Perhaps it is nothing. Perhaps it is something. It is nothing. And nothing else in the room. Okay. Well, we got the first objective. We made it to intersection one. I'm digging all the traps. I like the kind of simple old school style so far. And uh, and digging the, the difficulty level as well. Not too hard, not too easy. Let's hit the, uh, hit the sweet spot. Be sure to suggest rules for next episode. That's going to be it for me for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.